Welcome to my world. Welcome back to my kitchen. We are going to be doing ramen three different ways that you have may not have thought of before. I have some ground turkey, a big tube of it. We're going to be splitting it in half and dividing it between two different dinners. We're also going to be doing an alfredo with the ramen noodles and some broccoli. So we have a turkey and we have one without any meat at all for the people who don't eat meat. So this is a great way to dress up your ramen to make it somewhat healthy. I'm a big fan of ramens. I ate them when I was little. My kids love them. My husband also loves them. My kids are our second generations within my family who enjoy them and like them for lunch. I've been doing a lot of research on Pinterest. And there are thousands of ways to do ramen. Not just Kim from the Kardashians who had one of their videos with ramens go viral with the breakfast and the eggs. And I'm going to be doing a separate ramen video with breakfasts. There are so many different types. Let's get cooking. I'm going to turn the camera on. I'm going to dress up ramen noodles three different ways. I have a big brick of ground turkey that I'm going to defrost. We're going to make a turkey burger with ramen. We're going to make a ramen noodle bake with the other half of the turkey that we reserve. Then we're going to make a simple Prego Alfredo ramen with broccoli. We're going to need a big onion, which is going to be divided between the three dishes, garlic, salt, and black pepper to taste, and you're going to need broccoli for the Alfredo. You're going to hear him in the background. He's got a loud moving voice. Now remove the middle pieces off the edge of the turkey so you don't ruin your microwave. I'm going to frost it. I'm going to start with the ramen alfredo. I went ahead and cut up this onion. I'm just going to run the knife through it a couple more times. This is going to be divided up between the three. If your eyes start burning when you work with an onion, Rub your hand on stainless and it will stop immediately. I'm going to check the turkey in the microwave because we're defrosting the microwave in the background. Just about a splash of salt down, about a tablespoon of oil. About a quarter cup of onion is going to go on. I'm going to let them cook for about a minute or two. Then we're going to throw in the ramens. Let them cook a little bit. Then we're going to add a garlic and black pepper once the ramens are in the pan. And last, we're going to add broccoli after the alfredo. So we're going to layer this. Go ahead and turn the heat down to about two and a half because you don't want to fry your onions either. Now we're going to place the ramens. I have chicken. These are the ones that we usually buy. It is top ramen and we're going to put the first one in. You just toss it right on top of the onions as is. And sprinkle all the extras out. I will be using the flavor packet rather than broth once the ramens are cooking. And let these heat up. Just kind of squish them in with the onions. And I'm going to add about a quarter cup of water onto the frying pan now that the onions are starting to caramelize. I'm 
It only takes a couple minutes to cook them right on the skillet. Smell the onions cooking. I have a mug here with some water. Not too much because you don't want it soupy. Just about a quarter of a cup. Maybe a little less. I like using the mugs from measurement and I just eyeball it. Let's go ahead and drop the second ramen in. I have it right here. Use one of the packets so you can save that with your bouillon cubes. Make sure all the little crumbs go into the pan here. And give this one a couple of seconds to catch up. It'll cook a little quicker because we have water down. We're going to take some tongs. And just flip the ramens. So they evenly cook. Just trying to heat up a little bit, not too high, to almost five. Now you can add in your Alfredo. Almond noodles Alfredo with broccoli. We're going to add the broccoli in in a few minutes. I just want the noodles to cook a little more. I'm going to add some water to the can so we get all that goodness out. Take the can and try not to dilute. It smells really yummy in here. I love Alfredo. And get the Alfredo mixed in. I'm going to add a pinch of flour. If you want. Add, then we'll get them broken and add in broccoli. It's starting to break up. Just loosen it very lightly so you don't massacre them. You could boil them ahead of time if you want. This is less pots. And we're doing three different dishes, so this will go into a bowl when it's done. And when everything's done, we'll plate them. You can even add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. That'll thicken it too. Let's grab the broccoli and let this continue to cook. Broccoli by TJ Farms from the Dollar Tree. We use it all the time. Really good. Thick cuts of broccoli. And you get a 16 ounces. One pound for a dollar twenty-five. Now you're gonna get the broccoli all mixed in. I split the bags in half so we use them for different meals. Now you're going to cook this until the broccoli is sawed and cooked all the way through. And this Alfredo ramen noodle is almost done. We're going to get the flavoring packet that we reserved. The chicken. Rather than using box broth or buying something else, just use the packet, which is actually bouillon specially made for the ramens. Make sure you mix it well. Use my Dutch oven cover to ensure that the broccoli cooks and cover it for about a minute. The fork here to check on the broccoli. Let's see if it's done. Needs a few more minutes. It's still a little frozen. And let it 
cook uncovered the rest of the way. This smells amazing. I'm going to remove it from the heat. Give you a close up here. That's what it looks like. It's all bubbling and simmering. It looks amazing, smells delicious. I'm going to put it into a bowl and we're going to start the next ramen. Here is the ramen noodle alfredo, cheesy with broccoli. Looks absolutely incredible. Next ramen dish that we're going to do is a turkey ramen burger. We're going to caramelize the onions, then brown the turkey, then add in everything and layer it like we did the alfredo on the skillet. I'm going to take you over to my stove top and we're going to get the onions caramelized. We are going to start caramelizing the onions. I'm going to turn on the burner to the right of my stove here. Medium heat. Make sure that it's turning on. Add a splash of oil. And a dash of salt. Then we're going to add in about a quarter cup of onion. Already diced. Are cubed. They're a little bigger than a dice. And the rest of the onion is going to go in the ramen bake. Love the Dutch oven. It is very versatile. I'm going to let these onions cook for a couple of minutes before we add the turkey to get them translucent. I'm just going to take your favorite butter spray and a couple times around. We can get our butter spray bulk at our BJ's. Check out our grocery haul players list and our cook with me players list as well as our Dollar Tree dinners players list. Smell the onions cooking. I'm just going to put the spoon there for a moment. I'm going to take my black pepper and a couple of teaspoons. Always do it to your taste. Then I have my garlic salt. Couple of teaspoons of garlic salt. And swish it around. The onions are cooking well. I'm going to add in a half of the tube of the turkey. I'm going to let it cook. Push it down, give it a little bit of help. It's been cooking for a few minutes, so we're going to just push down the turkey to ground it up further. Now I'm making these meals for two, not for four, even though I have a family of four, because I know I have family members that will not eat this. My tween may, because they like turkey. My teen will might like the Alfredo. If not, I'm going to put them into containers and freeze them for lunches. This is browning very nicely. Let's go ahead and grab the ramens because we're going to add in the flavor packet before we put the in the entire packet, as you see there. And swish it around with all the onions in the turkey. Now we're going to take the noodles and add them in. I'm going to only add one flavor packet in and save it with your bland cubes. Make sure all the broken crumbs are in as well. Add it in and dump them in. And you're going to let these cook like we did the other ones. 
I'm going to get a quarter cup of water and add it into the Dutch oven. First, I'm going to add in some frozen mixed vegetables. And they'll break up and they'll cook with it. Just about a quarter of a cup to get it going. And once the noodles soften up and start breaking up like the other dish, we're going to add in ketchup and let this cook. Some of their turkey is being a little stubborn and that's fine. It'll be done by the time the dish is done. I'm going to give this a little help and cover the Dutch oven for a couple. Dump in your diced tomatoes. And the turkey browned very nicely. The noodles are almost ready to break apart. Go ahead and flip them over. I like to sneak in my vegetables where I can. I added in about a quarter of a cup. So the noodles are breaking up nicely. And it smells like a turkey burger. Again, you don't want to massacre them. Let's go ahead and add in ketchup and mustard. There's a hamburger ramen noodle too. About a tablespoon each. Mix it, make sure it's mixed well. The noodles are fully cooked within the Dutch oven here. If you don't want to work with turkey, work with the ground beef. I'm going to let the noodles continue cooking so they're done. You can add cheese if you wish, totally optional. Like vegetables I didn't mention were by TJ Farms from the Dollar Tree. I got the ramens at the Dollar Tree, the diced tomatoes. Most of the stuff came from either my pantry or the Dollar Tree. We're going to have a food pantry haul coming up. Make sure you subscribe. All new food pantry haul. I only get them once a month. We're going to start prepping the next ramen dinner, number three, also with ground turkey. First, we're going to preheat the oven and turn the, the heat down and turn it down to low. Get this to 350. And we're going to bring our turkey. This last dinner is going to use the rest of the turkey, the rest of the onion, two packages of ramen that we're going to boil first, a jar of sauce, and then cheese. We're going to make a ramen noodle bake. It's on high, the heat. I put two teaspoons of salt. To give it a head start. Ramens are off to the side here. When the water is a raging boil, we'll dump it in. Spray our casserole dish. I'm not going to pre cook the turkey or the onion. I'm just going to throw it onto the casserole dish. The onion that we cut between the three dishes, go ahead and dump them in. Now we're going to add the ground turkey and break it up. I've used three different wooden spoons here throughout the video. Let's evenly distribute the onions throughout. Dump the turkey on in. And you're going to break it up, make it really flat. I have the oven preheating to 350 degrees, as I mentioned. Then we're going to add 
this sauce it is garlic pasta sauce from the Dollar Tree. It is awesome. If I find it, I'm getting more of these. I like it better than a Prego. Dump the ramens in. Again, only one flavoring packet. Even though I've been cooking for over 35 years. Now we're going to add in the flavor packet. Put on in. Take your spoon and swish it. I'm only going to cook them part way because they're going to continue to cook in the oven with the sauce. You don't want them extremely mushy. This dish you can also do with ground beef. Three more dishes I've never made before or had before. And dump them on in. Dump them on to the turkey. Evenly distribute them with the turkey and the onions. Take the sauce. Then you're going to evenly distribute it. Rinse your spoon first. You can add spinach if you want or other vegetables. The onions are going to be just fine for me. Now we're going to take the cheese. Cheese. And pile it on. And this is going to bake uncovered 35-40 minutes until the turkey is done all the way through. Oven's preheated as you just heard and turkey should be done at 135. Use your thermometer to make sure your food is safe. This is the dinner bake with ramen. If you wanted to you can add a little bit of parmesan on top too. Just mozzarella here. To the direct center of your rack in your oven and then time your timer. The turkey ramen burger is done. I've already turned the heat off. 35 minutes time. I'll put it into a bowl so you can see what it looks like. This is a turkey noodle burger with ramen noodles and it smells so good. Again, you can add pickles and cheese if you want. I don't want any of that in my plate, so that's not what I'm adding. Here is the turkey noodle burger on the plate. It smells so good, I can't wait to try it. Here's the cheesy Alfredo ramen with broccoli. You can do it without broccoli and you can add turkey to it. That is awesome. When the bake is done, I'll take it out and first try the turkey ramen noodle burger. I'm glad I added the vegetables into it. Mmm. It's really good. Now for the Alfredo. Mmm. My favorite, it's to die for. I'm a noodles. Look how much food it made. That's gonna feed four. And look at how much it made with the Alfredo. I'm gonna cover these with my foil from the Dollar Tree. These pans also came from the Dollar Tree. They're gonna be frozen. I'm gonna write down what's on them the day I made them. And then I have more meals that are made by me for heat and eat night rather than buying TV dinners or anything along that lines. And I'm saving money because I'm using what's in my pan. This is the ramen and noodle dinner bake. It melted very nicely the cheese. The sauce is perfect. I tested the turkey, it's perfect. 
It's going to be delicious and it will freeze nicely. This will easily feed six with leftovers. The other two will too. These are ready to go into the freezer. All set to go. The bake has to cool away down before I can put it into a container and cover it. 